Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create and run your first load test with Load Complete. At the top of your screen, you'll see a button that says Record User Scenario. This is a wizard that's going to step you through every piece of the process. Okay, the first thing we need to do is create a new project. I'm going to name this after the site that we're going to record our test for, and that is our point travel. And we'll hit next and finish. And the second part of the wizard comes up, and we need to fill in our scenario name and our test name. We can take the default um, for the sake of this demonstration, scenario one, test one, and we're going to launch a web browser to record our test. I'll go with Internet Explorer, although I could use Firefox and Chrome because they're both installed on this machine. We're going to have our initial URL listed here, and for cache mode, we'll use private mode because that helps to ensure that the browser doesn't have any cached information as left over from a previous visit to this site. And we'll click record. Okay, we've now gone to the website. Let's click back on it again. And for our next step, we'll go to day tours, then overnight tours, and stage events. What we'll do is type the name of that step here. So, day tours. Overnight tours. And stage events. You'll notice that the next thing you click after entering this information We'll get that name. What we're doing is actually giving the steps of our test significant names, names that mean something in the context of our test. And now that we've done that, we're going to click on stop. And here we can just say finish. I'll close down my browser. Okay, so you see that we've created our scenario, and in our scenario we have four pages. This is the home page, day tours, overnight tours, and stage events. Under our test, we have a default test that's created, and that default test helps us to validate our script. What we can do here is we can modify this, run the number of virtual users that we want in our test. And we can modify anything else about it as well. So to make this simple, let's go with 10 virtual users. They're gonna be running scenario one, which we just created, and they'll be running from master, which means that it's going to run from the machine that load complete is installed on. Down below, we have three load profiles, steady load, stepwise, and custom shape. Steady load means that all of your virtual users will start at the exact same time. That's okay for very, very small tests, but in any larger test that could create artificial bottlenecks with every user starting at the same time and doing the same thing, um, more like a denial of service attack. Down below we have stepwise. This is the most common thing that you will do and that means that you're going to start with a certain number of virtual users and build up over time to the maximum that you've listed here, which is 10. And then down below that, which we're not going to actually try out right now, you have the ability to draw your load profile. Very, very flexible and quite fun. But that's for another video. So we'll go with stepwise. We're going to start with one virtual user and we're going to add one virtual user 
every three seconds. Okay. Next, under continuous load, you need to make sure that this checkbox is checked. That means that we're going to have each virtual user run its scenario and start over again for the duration of the test. So we're going to set a duration here and we'll make it, for the sake of this video, one minute. And we have that checked for continuous load. Think time, we'll use the think time defined in the scenario. Quality of service, that's where we can set an SLA. And if any of our pages exceed that, we'll throw an error and then stop on error. Uh, we're not going to do that for this test. So we're all set. At this point, we're ready to run our test. I'll push the Run Load Test button. Okay, our test has started. You can see the blue line here is the number of virtual users, and it is climbing up in a stepwise manner. One user every three seconds. In addition, we have past requests. Those are in green. We're at eight virtual users. Once we hit 10, this is going to flatline and run across for the duration of the test, which is one minute. And once we hit the one minute mark, the test will complete and our report will be generated. Pretty easy, huh? You can get a lot more complicated with load complete. The good thing is, though, you don't have to. Okay, we're just about there, and the test completes, and our report has been generated. Thank you very much. See you next time.